always, always going, you know, going a, a thousand percent at everything. Um, whether that's schoolwork, whether that's, you know, in the weight room, whether that's on the field, you know, don't have any regrets because at the end of the day, when it's all done, you're going to look back at it on, in hindsight and then you don't want to have any regrets on that. It's the Health in the Real World podcast. It's time to start the show with Chris Jenke as your host. Here to give you everything that you need when it comes to fitness strategies. We keep it simple and easy. It's your roadmap to get healthy. You don't need equipment and you don't need a gym. Just the right strategies to get you fit and trim. The Health in the Real World podcast is sponsored by most exercises and workouts, whether they be running, biking, elliptical, rowing machine, traditional weightlifting, or even CrossFit, do not give you a balanced workout. And when you do workouts that neglect even one area, you're out of balance, resulting in pain and injury as well. Achieve your goals with the fitness program your chiropractor would love. Visit chrisjenke.com slash pod to watch the free video. Welcome to Health in the Real World. I'm here today with Demetrius McRae. Demetrius is originally from Covington, Georgia. In uh, high school, he lettered not only in football, but also in basketball and track. Later went on to play football in the NFL, Jacksonville Jaguars, Oakland Raiders. So we get to talk with Demetrius today. Demetrius, welcome. I appreciate that. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Well, it's it's great having you on the show. Uh, like I was talking to you before, I think it'll be really nice to to hear about your journey into the NFL, how you got there, and mm-hmm. you know some of the trials and tribulations going up, um, and then also relate it back because I know some of the, you know, some of the principles that I'm sure you used as far as work ethic and discipline and consistency, we can apply to anybody. So, um, give us just a, a quick rundown, kind of high level as far as you know, your journey, how you got, you got drafted in 2013 mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and, you know, how you got there. Yep. Yep. So uh appreciate the, you know, kind of the beginning stages of, you know, of my career going back to my time in, in Georgia in high school. And then uh went on to Appalachian state where I played four years there uh playing cornerback. And then, uh then after the, after my senior year, Got drafted seventh round to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Spent about three three years there, three and a half years there, and then I went on to Seattle for a short stint in Seattle, and then went on to Oakland. Uh, it was a good time, you know. It was a good time. I was able to I was able to compete compete at the high level, uh, and like you said, you know, a lot of discipline took place, a lot of consistency, uh, a lot of sacrifice, hard work was uh, was put into that time. So. You know, it was, a, it was a great experience to be able to experience that. And now you're still you're still using that knowledge of health and fitness that you've attained over the years, and you're you're training uh, athletes and also non-athletes, mm-hmm. like personal training uh, in the fitness aspect. What do you have like a specific type of client and or like a specific goal that like are your clients into weight loss or are they trying to get you know become athletes like you were or what, what's kind of your uh, clientele? So I have a, a wide, wide variety. Uh, so I have, I have the, the client looking to just get in shape, lose weight, you know, get stronger. And then I have the, the all around athlete as well, looking to get faster, looking to get more explosive, uh, looking, to, looking to increase their speed. So I have, I have it all wide range. Uh, it's really good to be able to just uh, be able to just, you know, expand my knowledge uh, and then give back my knowledge as well, especially to the athletes, because that's, you know, I've been an athlete for the majority of my life. And so um, being able to give them tips and tricks there. And then I also throw that into the non-athletes as well, you know, kind of give them some tips and tricks on what I learned, um, you know, to prevent injuries and, and, and whatnot. So, yeah, it's been, it's been really fun to experience both sides of it. Nice. Yeah, I think that's pretty valuable having – having somebody like yourself who's uh, who's competed at that high level to to mm-hmm. be their trainer like wow he Demetrius is training me this is pretty nice mm-hmm. um so Demetrius as far as going back to you and your your career I, I really right. like getting inside of uh, my guests heads a little bit as far as like how they overcame obstacles and was there I'm sure there were tons but was there any obstacle that that you can think of off the top of your head that 
maybe uh, could have been a deal breaker or could have prevented you from playing in the NFL that you had to overcome? And, and what was your thought process in overcoming that? Yeah, yeah. Some couple injuries during, uh, during the springtime uh, in college. Uh, you're always going to have injuries, you know, walking away from the game. But, you know, just some injuries. Um, had a, you know, had a quad injury that, I, that happened my sophomore year. Pretty significant. Um, but I overcame that. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was really hard the first couple of weeks because, you know, I thought that I wasn't going to play. And this quad injury was actually during the season. I think I missed one game, but, you know, just rehabbing it, um, making sure that I'm, I'm following the trainer's um, advice, suggestions and things like that. I was able to come back from that. Uh, so, you know, trusting that process during the spring ball, going into my senior year, you know, getting stingers and, you know, uh, things like that, you know, just bumps and bruises, you know, just overcoming it, trusting the trainer's process. You know, they, they have the knowledge for a reason. And then, you know, trusting what they say and, you know, everything went good. Yeah, 100%. Nice. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you tell uh, one of your clients, let's say, who is who's just starting out? Maybe they mm -hmm. haven't been, they're, they're not an athlete. They, they don't have an athletic background, but they really want to get healthy. They want to get fit. What do you tell them? Like, what is step one or what are the first couple steps that you tell them to do? Mm -hmm. A couple of things. So uh, I, if we, if we uh, weightlifting, form is key. You know, your form has to be correct, you know, from the jump. Um, and you have to treat everything as if you are, you know, kind of lifting 100 pounds. So even if you even if you got the bar, you know, make sure your form is correct. Um, act like you act like it's a thousand pounds on the bar, you know, even with your form correct. Um, and then the next one is just your eating habits, too. I always say, you know, your fitness don't come unless your, your you know, your, your eating habits are, are right. You know, that's when your goals will start start matching up, whether that whether you want to put on muscle, whether you want to lose weight, you know, your your diet has to be key. Yeah, I like that. Absolutely. Diet, I think, is at least 80 percent. Right. Would you say? Absolutely. And then, Absolutely. And then I like what you said about the you know, if you have even, you know, just the bar and, and you know, a, a good friend of mine, he's in his I think he's in his late 50s. But when he was young, he joined his weightlifting club, like powerlifting club as a teenager. Mm -hmm. And they used to just lift like broomsticks for like yeah. six, six months. And he said, the coach said, you, your form better be perfect with that broomstick. Otherwise, we're never giving you any kind of iron whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's mm -hmm. good as far as injury prevention, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that was one of the things that was taught, you know, in my football career. Make sure your form is correct to prevent those injuries. Um, yeah. And that's kind of like following that, tro that process of the training team the strength and conditioning team because they work hand in hand to prevent those injuries, get your body stronger, make sure that you can last throughout the whole season. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, especially for you, like there's plenty of times in a football game or even probably practice where you're doing motions that are so unpredictable, you know, when you're, you're and you're a cornerback, right. You're hitting guy, at least you're, you're hitting and not getting hit most of the time, but you know, mm -hmm. you're, you're one of the smallest guys on the field. And I'm sure you got some big, you know, tight ends or running backs coming at you. And, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you don't have control over your form at that point. So in the weight room, it's a good idea to, to be as 100% as possible. Absolutely. Yep, yeah, you're absolutely right with that. Yeah. So, uh, Demetrius, what would you tell somebody? I want to go a little bigger picture now. Uh, not so okay. focused on health and fitness, but more like, uh, like life values and things like that. I like um, sort of wrapping up the show with, with this direction. So if you're hired by, let's say, either a corporation or, um, or, like a, or like a university graduation, and you're given either like a keynote or the commencement speech, uh, what, are, what are some principles that have helped you throughout your life that you want to pass on to um, the people listening to your keynote speech? Like, what's your motivational talk? Um, you know, one thing that I always, that I always live by, you know, is... Um, it's never being a statistic, you know, I always wanted to, always wanted to, um, you know, do the right thing, you know, never wanted to be a statistic, whether that's, you know, anything, anything that's, that's related, that's not good. Okay. Um, so, you know, that was one of the things that always motivated me, um, you know, never being a statistic, um, always, always going, you know, going a, a thousand percent at everything. Um, whether that's schoolwork, whether that's, you know, in the weight room, whether that's on the field, you know, 
don't have any regrets because at the end of the day, when it's all done, you're going to look back at it on, in hindsight and then you don't want to have any regrets on that. All right. So just, you know, give your best effort to, you know, in the present. So when you do look back, you can be like, okay, I'm comfortable enough. I knew I couldn't give, you know, any more. So that, those, you know, some of the two principles that I live by, you know, throughout my, throughout my career, throughout my life too, personally. Absolutely. I love that. Not mm -hmm. having any regrets. You're, you're always mm -hmm. going to look back and you want to be proud of the effort. Uh, I, I like to think that you can control two main things, effort and attitude. A lot of other Ooh. things outside of our control, but effort and attitude. Sounds like you, you have a, a good grasp as far as your effort. You know, you made, you made, the, you made the push trying to get in the mm -hmm. NFL. You did it. The highest level of football. That's great. And, uh, and now working as a trainer. And now um, I'm going to let you go because I know you have a new son or daughter. Uh, son, I have a new son. New son. Is this mm -hmm. your first? No, this is actually my second. All right. I have a daughter. I have a daughter that's six years old, and I have a newborn. Uh, he's about two months. He's he's coming up on two months in two days. Oh, that's be, awesome. Be, yep. Well, yep. congratulations. So he was born right around Thanksgiving time. Is that yep. Thank, uh, November twentieth, he was born. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on your new baby, and definitely get some sleep. Um, let me let me give you a chance if you have any programs out there websites social media how do people get in touch with you um my instagram uh, mccray dc um website mccray elite training you'll find all the programs that i have you'll find the, the sports um everything that i offer uh you can also look on on instagram mccray elite training as well that's my that's my personal training um instagram my personal my personal is McCray DC. Perfect. Well, Demetrius, thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining me today on Health in the Real World. Really appreciate it and best of luck to you. All right. I appreciate you having me. Thanks for listening to the Health in the Real World show. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. Visit mycorebalance.com to learn more.